All right, Sean, more than 20 million Americans have nerve damage, known as neuropathy, affecting their arms, legs, hands, or feet. But a new study conducted in Michigan suggests that number could be significantly higher because so many patients are going undiagnosed. Hello. Hey. Hi. How are you? The study led by the University of Michigan and Hurley Medical Center found nearly three quarters of patients at a Flint primary care clinic had nerve damage. 75% were undiagnosed. Dr. Melissa Elifrost led the study and says many are suffering in silence. We've learned that when patients come into primary care doctors, they often have multiple concerns and neuropathy symptoms are not at the top of their list. So as a neurologist, we need to come up with a better way to help screen for this problem. Telling your doctor about symptoms early on is important. Neuropathy is a neurologic condition that's basically nerve damage. So nerves come out of your spine and go down your arms and your legs. And when they get damaged, people have a lot of different symptoms. Things like numbness, tingling, pain, pain that can be debilitating. Or maybe they have no symptoms at all and just realize their balance isn't great. Neuropathy is most commonly caused by diabetes. A lot of people that know people that have neuropathy have bad diabetes. Other things can be if you're overweight or ob obesity will do it. Other things, so it could be a genetic condition, it could run in your family, or it could be a vitamin deficiency. So there's lots of different causes. Left untreated, it can lead to multiple problems, including foot injuries and even amputation. We learned so much from this research study. And the biggest thing we learned is that so many people have neuropathy and they're not being diagnosed. And the lead researcher says while they knew neuropathy was common, they found so much more than they expected. The study team is now partnering with another outpatient clinic in the Flint area for further research. Fascinating. Mm -hmm.